Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. A few weeks ago, I published a video complaining about the most popular, but in my opinion, worst fountain pen in Pilot's arsenal, the Pilot Metropolitan. I know I offended a lot of viewers with that opinion, but that just goes to show you how popular the Metro is. And sales will not plummet because I think the pen sucks, so relax. <laughs> That's right, it sucks! However, I didn't want anyone to get the impression that I think Pilot sucks. On the contrary, I think Pilot is one of the best fountain pen makers in the world. But popularity, like personal taste, doesn't equate with quality. I know I offended a lot of Hee Haw fans too. But that just proves my point. So today I'd like to showcase some of Pilot's extraordinary quality in what I think is Pilot's most underrated gold nibbed fountain pen, the Pilot E95S. Right now. So more and more companies are combining shipping and switching carriers and the tracking number you end up with is not the tracking number that ends up being in your country. And so it's really hard to follow what's coming in the mail, especially when you order a lot of stuff like I do. So this one, I really don't have, I have an idea, but I don't really know what's in here. So we'll see what fountain pens have come from China today. Yep, I've got a rope. Oh, it's a bag. Oh, it's a pilot. Just because you're shopping online doesn't mean that you don't need a shopping bag. So they deliver the shopping bag to you. So I don't know what this is. Oh, it's one fountain pen. I thought it was two. Now I know what this is. <laughs> yes, it's a pilot. I was expecting it. This is a gift. It's my 35th wedding anniversary coming up and I've purchased my wife a Pilot E95S because this is my favorite Pilot of all Pilots and so I bought a black and gold one. But let's take a look at the pen. It's such a gorgeous pen, it deserves a partner. Just like my wife deserves a gorgeous partner in me. Here's the Pilot box, this is completely different then the box my original Pilot E95S came in. There it is. Dream, live, write since 1918. Pilot, let's take it out of its baggie. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? And this is not a Japan, it is Japanese, but it's not the Elite. Uh, in the Japan market, it says Elite on it. And it is a medium. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. And I can tell you, after writing for three years with one of these medium 14 karat gold nibs, this was my first gold nib on my E95S and it's exquisite. Let's see what else is in this box. Silica gel, oh, I'll save that and eat it later. There we go, and some Japanese instructions. It says, Please do not read. Good thing there are pictures. How to fill the ink cartridge. Anyway, put that aside. 
and let's open the pen up and see whether it comes with the dreaded it does come with the dreaded con 40 we're not going to use that we're going to use a cartridge well i don't know whether to give it to her now we're a good week and a half away from our anniversary or to surprise her on our anniversary i will be doing a full review of these two gorgeous pens shortly so this was my first gold nib fountain pen it was a christmas gift from my wife two christmases ago and it has been inked and on my desk every day since then i showcased it as one of my top three fountain pens in a video for apple bomb ever since we started our top three series we have received hundreds of emails and letters asking if we could please let douglas redburn talk about his favorite pens and I love it so much, I decided that my wife, Wynne, ought to have one too for our 35th wedding anniversary last July. So I bought one for her in black and gold. She's thrilled with it, and this is the first chance I've had to get it away from her to do the video review. I've already reviewed this pen, and you can see that review by clicking right up here. Spoiler alert, I love it. Instead of doing the usual parts and features, I'm just going to talk about what makes this pen great. And I have seven categories where this pen is awesome. One, looks. You have to have severely limited sense of style, beauty, and taste not to appreciate the incredibly gorgeous design aesthetic of the E95S. Let's put the E95S right next to my Lamy Safari. And if you can't see immediately which is beautiful and which is blocky and ugly, then enjoy your white socks and Birkenstocks. Hey, I love the Birkenstocks. Thanks. Yeah, I always keep an extra set on the car for special occasions. Just look at these two gorgeous fountain pens. The epitome of excellence in design is where form and function merge into something sublime. But purely in terms of aesthetics, this is one of the most beautiful pens ever designed. And B, balance. One of the most visceral experiences in writing is how a particular pen feels in the hand. A lot of that is how well balanced the pen is. And the E95S is incredibly well balanced. They've taken a cue from the excellent design of the Parker 51 and the long tapering section allows for multiple grip styles over its long seamless length. And C, compact size slash full size. This is one of the reasons that E95S is so underrated and overlooked in my opinion. From the outside it looks like a pocket pen. And it is a pocket pen until you open it and post it. And then it's a full size pen. Let's look at the E95S next to a Caveco Sport when they're capped. You can see that the E95S is a little bit longer than the Caveco Sport, but now let's look at them posted. The Sport stays a pocket pen and the E95S is a full-size fountain pen. So this is the ultimate convertible, best of both worlds, posted and capped. And that brings us to number four, capping and posting. When you cap and post this pen, it's really something you just have to feel with your own hands. I don't know how Pilot does it, but the attention to detail and how they've engineered this pen's capping and uncapping is nothing short of astounding. It transcends a mechanical function and becomes something sensual. You can feel that smooth clutch engaging, and then it has a positive stop. The only thing close to it is how the Lamy 2000 caps. And there's a lot of engineering genius involved in the Lamy 2000's capping mechanism. Now, I've just purchased this Pilot Prera, and Pilot has incorporated their expertise in capping with this pen in a similar way that is very impressive. That smooth clutch and then the positive click. And the smooth experience happens on both sides. When you're posting the pen, too, you feel that slide in and positive stop. And number E... The clip. The clip is another subtle but brilliant blend of form and function. The clip is simple and elegant in shape, but it's also very, very functional. And that's a result of this clever spring-loaded pivot in the cap. Most clip designs have you bending the actual metal of the clip. Pilot puts a small spring and fulcrum in the top of the clip inside the cap 
you can barely even perceive it's there but it is look at that brilliant i wish more companies would do this and category six is the most beautiful part of this pen both visually and functionally and that is the nib pilot probably gets most of their accolades for the smoothness of their nibs and this one is no exception but it does have exceptional looks this semi inlaid fingernail gold nib is incredibly beautiful in my opinion but when you put this nib to paper the only thing you can say is wow and that's what most people do again you have to feel this for yourself to understand how incredible this nib is out of the box we'll get to a writing sample shortly and the final category is the price for a 14 karat gold nibbed fountain pen the e95 is cheap people often recommend the platinum 3776 as an entry-level gold nib fountain pen i heartily disagree not that the 3776 isn't a nice pen it is uh, and it comes in some really cool finishes but not only is the e95s more beautiful better balanced and better made it's also $40 cheaper. I would be remiss if I didn't point out a couple of the Pilot E95S's shortcomings. First, the converter that comes with the pen is the awful Con 40. Not only does it take a minuscule amount of ink, when it's installed in the E95S, you can't see the ink levels at all. I solved this issue by filling an empty Pilot cartridge with ink with a syringe. They are durable and seem to last forever. The one in my E95S is the original I got with the pen. One note, however, if you're opening a pilot cartridge, retrieve the little plastic disc from inside the cartridge with a pair of tweezers before using the pen. They can sometimes slip into the closed position inside there and block the flow of ink. And the second thing that many people complain about is the pen's weight. It is a relatively light pen, so if you really prefer a pen with some heft to it, this pen won't be for you. I'm hoping that Pilot will redesign the Con 40 converter into something that not only holds more than a paragraph's worth of ink, but also has a little weight to it to add some weight to the E95S. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here we are with the Pilot E95S. And here it is with a Pilot Prera, a Pilot Kukuno with a Caveco Sport Clip, a Pilot Custom 74 and a Pilot Metropolitan. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. The E95S and the Custom 74 are the only two pens here with 14 karat gold nibs. I'm not going to show the pens unposted because the E95S is not designed to be written with unposted. Let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Pilot E95S, and it has a 14 karat gold medium nib. Let's check the wetness. It's not a gusher, but the way the pen glides on the page makes it so smooth it feels like it's a gusher. It is just so incredibly smooth. But be sure and ask for Guzzlers a nice smooth drink. <laughs> it's like glass on oil on ice. So again, if you like a little bit of feedback in your nibs, you might not like this nib. I found that most Pilot Gold nibs that I've tried have this real glassy smoothness to them. It's different than the Platinum nibs and the Sailor nibs. And the ink today is Roshizuku, Konpeki, because it's the only ink I ever put in my E95S. 
and that goes for my wife's E95S as well. It's probably my favorite color of ink of all. And here are some close matches to this color from inkswatch.com. And as I said, this pen, you just have to experience this nib on the page to understand how beautifully smooth it is. As for line variation, it is gold and it does flex a little bit. It's by no means a flexible nib, but it does give you some really interesting line variation without any pressure at all just by how you stroke the line you see and the line this pen makes is between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 millimeters which makes it firmly a western medium and unusually a Japanese medium to broad Usually the Japanese nibs are a little bit smaller, like a size smaller than the Western. But this, when it says it's a medium, it is a true medium. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. It's very dry and skippy. It's not scratchy, but it's not flowing at all. And for some quick writing. That says the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or something like a dog. No issues whatsoever with the flow. So, what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, I've already told you what I like and what I don't like, but I'll add just a couple more comments here. Sometimes the road less traveled has more to offer. When you see lemmings racing towards the popular, turn and look around and open your eyes and your mind to the path less traveled. But act now because supplies are limited. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens as I'm now an affiliate of the online store and when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comments section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote. this.